Hello Gemini, I'm Susie from the Gift Tarot Two, and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 1st of August for the next seven days. So angels, spirits, guides, universe, what would you like Gemini to know? Ten of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Wands, Gemini, 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 angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Gemini to know about the week of the 1st of August? The week of the 1st of August for Gemini. We could have first of all for Gemini. Wow, lots here. I'm going to have to take them, Gemini, as I do. So it's a busy week then, isn't it? <laughs> Three. I didn't put any candles on for you. I can't do that. Okay, okay, that's why. It's given me... Right. Bear with me. Okay, Ten of Cups, happy family, happy home. There could be a judgment. Things are coming out of the closet in the home. There's lots of been, things being exposed. Um, nobody's perfect. All these skeletons are coming out of the closet to be healed. And it could cause you a little bit of burden. But it, I think you're getting rid of this burden because you drop the burden of this sort of family tie or this healing within the family to the, go to the Ace of Wands, which is a brand new beginning. And uh, I think that's what this exposure's done. So I, I'm feeling words of exposure, but it's like the Ten of Cups is the picket fence. It's happy, but there's something coming up from the ground with the house or the home, the family, and it's enabled everybody to just drop a lot of burden and start again, okay? Um, you're thinking about where to put your savings of what you've worked for, what you're going to put it into next, and there's two choices, okay? Um, I would recommend you don't go... Oh, there's two cards here. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Magician. Okay, I was going to recommend something. I'm not going to recommend it. So you're going to have... You're going to know, I'll be waiting to see what the, the might, you might be waiting on someone to offer you a, a, a path of employment um, and you're ready. It's like, I'm ready now. What do you, God, what do you want me to do? What's the best thing to do? Um, you, you can literally make anything a success, Gemini, with this uh, magician. You're going to be at a crossroads. You could go back into a love situation or say something to someone that... There could be like a fight this week with, with someone that you end something with, that you've gone back into something where you shouldn't have gone back into it. And there's like, whoosh, it's like, it's very narcissistic. So, it, But it does drop to the Ace of Swords. You do get the truth out of it. So I could say to you, don't go onto that battlefield because you might say something you can't unsay or take back. But maybe the situation causes for an absolute termination and this is this kind of I'm hearing fuckery <laughs> I don't know why Gemini I always I'm Gemini rising I'm always um swearing in your your reading um Ace of Swords is clarity once this fight happens once this termination once this ending happens it's like you just choose one of these roads or two of these roads and you block uh maybe something in love it's like a relationship or you said no is enough is enough if you look at them, nothing now. These two people can't be together, so therefore you've got the truth, you've got your yourself, and you've got your focus. And that focus is on the future of where you're going to plant your investment five years down the line or two years down the line. Um, you might have to pay off some people first, um, but you are up on a pedestal and people want it. So there might be another battle at the end of this week because you've chosen this. Uh, but because of the path he chose, um, little things will start to go wrong because you're at a beginning of something here. Like there's a message of commitment or a, a, a status of uh, security with the coin. It's like you're planting a seed for the future and waiting for the crops to, to grow. Um, again, people are jealous of you, Gemini. They're trying to push you off your path. Um, but w when this happens, it, you, that's when you know you're doing the right thing, okay? It's very earth, so you're, you're really building from the ground up. Um, someone wants to come in and participate and share, and be charitable towards you, 
or you want to, to invest in somebody else. Um, you've got the Queen of Cups up here. You're honouring your heart. Could be a Pisces lady, um, Scorpio, or I can't remember the bloody signs this week. What was the other one? Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And this is where the reading gets interesting because it's like you're fighting to get this leash, you're doing this thing, you're sort of ignoring passion. Maybe that's why I didn't put the candles on. Uh, people want to block you off your path, you're trying to do what you've got to do. And then all of a sudden, there's a reciprocation between you and love. And a wish comes true here, a union. And you're waiting for it to manifest. For the, the, you know, it might not be till September that this wish is, is, but you know it's coming. And this hopeful wish comes true also. So it's double wish at the end of this week. People will see you like the star. So carry on doing what you're doing. Um, and if little things go wrong, so you've already unburdened yourself by having the truth of, of a family situation so everyone can heal. Um, judgments in your favour. You might feel a little bit weighed down, but then if you start this new beginning and invest in the future, you may have to get rid of some some things that you've gone back to. And it might be a bit difficult paying off Peter to pay Paul. You might feel left out in the cold, but you're still investing in the future, in yourself. And there's something, and the reason all this battle's going on is because someone wants to offer their real heart, their real feelings, their, the real union. And it's, uh, it's such a hopeful wish that you'll realise the battle you've gone through this week was worth it. That's what I can see. I think there's going to be a walking away and then you, this emotion comes up, this temperance, Sagittarius and Aquarius and water, Pisces, um, it's two wishes come true at the same time. Someone might invest in you, give you money for your business and help you because they could see that you might be defeated by these people and you've had to start again at the end of this week. And then it's like, oh, there's a flood. I've got to fix this. It's very busy. And then someone comes and goes, there you go. And here's my heart as well. And I think you're the best thing since sliced bread. So let's ask the romance angels, Gemini. This is why when it, they throw out lots of cards, I have to take them because there's a message here. It's obviously a busy week, and it's it's going to be, poof, it's going to be it's going to be kind of annoyingly annoying and tough. But you you might allow these people to knock you off your pedestal in a business, but you've got something else. See, Gemini do five things at the same time. They can do five different businesses. If you've got something else up your sleeve, and that little thing that you plant allows this loving very soon. Look, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Angel spirit guides, what would you like? That wants to come in, doesn't it? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment, Gemini. Gemini, this was possibly going to be the best reading. I can't see how there could be better cards than the Nine of Cups, the Star, Temperance. And even you begin with the Ten of Cups, which is the home. Love in the home. Everyone's coming out of the closet. Things are getting healed. Energy is going into playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, we've got two more. And flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. And then unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. <gasps> I think I've had that for the Aries and Taurus. This... Very soon, someone's coming in and it couldn't go to an engagement. Be playful. Extend your light-hearted energy to others, okay? 
because I think that this love here, which you try and go back into initially, is unrequited, and you realise that. So you choose a different path. It, it, it kind of, the, you, you're like, oh, why did I go back there? And then everything starts to sort of go a little bit topsy-turvy until this reciprocation comes, this wish come true. It could be just that it's not love and it's your bit, the biggest thing that you've ever wanted to do. You wanted to sing, you wanted to dance, you're the star. And this thing could, someone could say in September, we've got this massive show and we want you to be the headline act. Something like that, something, I wanted to come out. I am the angel of marriage, I'm assisting you right now. Or it could be an, an engagement. Angel therapy, give your cares and worries to us angels. Allow us to take your burdens. Look, this burden. There's something that's being orchestrated and you, it's like you've taken a, you should have gone right this week and you go left, but you're sort of, through this tri tri tribulation or people blocking your path or wanting your job or knocking you off your pedestal, <laughs> you happen upon the, the right path. It's like the wrong way takes you into the right way because it's too much struggle. And it's like, no, I'm gonna plant for the future. This, this might be like this now, but I can see this, this these crops and this stability and this wish and it's, it's a hopeful wish coming true. Remember who you are, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God, you are very loved. I'm telling you, Gemini, like, don't, and indigo and crystal children on the bottom of this, is uh, you have a bond with children, in particular, you can help children who are sensitive. It could be a job involving children that brings you all this happiness and love, and just what seems to be the wrong route goes into the right route, if I make any sense, and remember who you are. So, Gemini, like, I hope I've helped you. Um, keep the faith and very soon your love is coming so take care and uh, subscribe and like thanks very much bye bye